Alright, well, if you saw my last video, then you know that I am trying to rebuild my quote-unquote, my out-of-focused quote-unquote home server. Now, this is not supposed to be a professional rig. It's not supposed to be like a real server. It's why I've got the quotes. Really, this is just a computer that I have in my house that does a lot of offloading uh, so that way if I ever need to render, if I ever need to record, if I ever need to to have file storage, whatever, that's all handled out of my main PC and on this to where I can, you know, play games or do whatever on my main PC. And recently I had given this computer to Megan to use as her gaming rig. So it also needs to double as a fairly competent gaming rig, but also having like file shares set up and stuff like that. So I figured I would make a video talking about my upgrade process and uh, what I'm doing on both the hardware and the software side. If you'd like to see my philosophy behind these things, I have a video, episode zero, that you can click. If I remember to do it this time, we'll see, uh, up in the corner. And uh, that will take you to the episode zero where I'm talking about the hardware that I'm using and my design philosophy behind choosing certain things and why I'm going with certain software solutions. Uh, this is going to be the actual building, and depending on how complicated it gets, uh, maybe the software stuff, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, go ahead and get the PC built started, and then we can just piece by piece take a look at things and see how it all goes. Hi everybody, this is Editing James. Just wanted to let you know that there is going to be a second video where we do all the software stuff. So yeah, this will be just building the computer and then in a little bit I'll come out with a video that talks about installing Windows, installing programs, and all of that fun stuff. But for now, let's focus on the hardware. Back to real James. So the first thing that's going to come out is going to be the GPU. This is a GTX 1070. Um, I actually got it from a coworker. He was saying that it was causing his computer to uh, hard shut down and it would corrupt Windows autofocus. There we go. Um, so it's an EVGA 1070. Uh, it's the same cooler and everything that's on my 1080. I did have some issues where if the, if the server was under really heavy load, the games would crash and restart. But I don't know if that's because of the card or if it's because of the, the hardware that's in here. Um, as far as a boot drive goes, I actually have a very basic 500 gig hard drive that I ripped out of an Xbox One um, that actually still has the mount for the Xbox One. Um, I left that mount on there because I want to identify which drive goes in the Xbox One in case I ever fix it. It's a uh, LSI uh, AOC USAS L81. Um, really cheap. I got it for basically 10 bucks on eBay. Um, I actually paid 20 uh, but then the seller didn't put himself in vacation mode, so he sent me two as an apology, so I basically got uh, a card for 10 bucks. Um, it's great because they're SAS connectors, um, and then they also come with cables, uh, these cables here, which will let me connect up to four hard drives via one SAS cable. And as you can see, the cards support... Focus! Jesus, come on, camera. Uh, they actually support two SAS slots, so you can do... Uh, all kinds of fun stuff with that. Um, the way my RAID is set up is I am actually just using the, the RAID card um, to stripe them together into a RAID 0. Um, that way all the RAID math is handled by the card, and it's great. Um, these are a little finicky because you have to flash them in specific BIOS modes for them to do the thing you want them to do. Otherwise, they'll just be a bunch of hard drives available, and then you can... Uh, I see them in Windows that way, but yeah, I prefer doing it this way. It also makes importing drives easier whenever you're moving Windows installations and all that fun stuff. Um, this case, actually, this is an old uh, Asus uh, gaming PC. It's got an Athlon 64 in it. It had like an AGP NVIDIA card in it. It wasn't really that good, and it wasn't anything I was really interested in. Um, but it's a nice, solid, reliable case, so I use it. Um, the case fan is loud as crap and it doesn't really push that much air, so it's typically unplugged. Um, and this thing needs some dust filters really bad. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it gets the job done. It's got room for four? Jesus, yeah, okay. Four five and a quarter bays, and you can put up to seven uh, uh, three and a half drives in here, uh, depending on how you do your mounting. So here 
are the, the hard drives. So there's four of them, uh, three two terabyte drives and a one four terabyte drive. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep those in if I can and then just unscrew the board and lift that out and just put the new board in its place. Oh man, this board is filthy. Ow. I'm pretty sure I just cut myself on that heat sink. Thanks, Cooler Master. Wow, cable management in this case is no fucking joke. What the hell? Damn it, Asus. Like, I get that it was like 2006 when you made this case, but come on. Like, Packard Bell has a better cable management design than this. Okay, how many screws do I got? I got, well, I got to unplug the front panel and everything. Blech. At least I got a beeper. So that's that's a nice plus. Uh, okay, that was smart of me. <laughs> I guess uh, at a previous time when I was messing with this, I uh, oh, can I zoom in on that? Yeah, I guess like at a previous time I was messing with this, I just said fuck it and zip tied down all the front panel header stuff to the front audio or the front USB connector because I was like fuck this, and I only wired the power switch and the reset switch. I didn't, I didn't even bother wiring the HDD LED. I actually have the four terabyte drive and the boot drive, the 500 gig, going directly into the motherboard as opposed to the RAID card. Um, just for convenience sake, I guess. It was just easier. Doesn't really matter. I think the only problem is that you can't boot Windows off of the RAID. Or you can, but you have to do something I don't remember. Um, so I just said fuck it and just <sighs> moved on with my life. Speaking of saying fucking it and moving on with my life, I think I'm about ready to unscrew everything. Man, I wish I had my camera, like I wish I had a way to mount my camera like directly over it instead of like to the side like this. <sighs> well, if you want to uh, ensure that I can do camera upgrades in the future, including mounting stuff like that, you should hit that subscribe button. That's a shameless plug if I've ever done one. So I think now you can just lift the board out and we should be good to go. Oh yeah. Complications. There's so many cables right here that I don't think I have an angle where I can just lift it straight up. Yeah, because with the, uh, so we've got all this mess here right uh, right in front of the power, so, so all that crap is stopping me from lifting it up that way. And then up on the other end, up here, we've got the I.O. that's blocking me in. Well, this is going to be fun. Hey, there we go. It's called not sucking at what you do, James. So yeah, she is free. Uh, 8150 Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. ASRock uh, motherboard, and I am so glad to not have to use this anymore. Ugh. I loved the 8150 at the time, but now it's just, it's very long in the tooth and just needs to be replaced. Speaking of being long in the tooth, we've got, oh god, we've got a, co a coaxial um, audio out, like the HD coax port, and we've also got eSATA. Thumbs up if you actually remember, like, the two years that eSATA uh, was announced and then was a thing in the market and then quickly died because like one motherboard supported it and it was apparently this one. All right, and here is our new one. Um, <laughs> if you're looking at it, it probably seems considerably cleaner than the last time you saw it. I spent probably 20 minutes dusting it off. It was bad. But this board will be nice because um, the way that it'll sit in there, the uh, SATA ports will be a little bit more accessible. There's also two over here, which will be really good for the boot drive and the uh, four terabyte drive. RAM is here, so that's an easy upgrade. Um, the power situation is a little bit cleaner, and the I.O. is a little bit cleaner as well. That might get annoying for some cards, but the way that the RAID card sits in this board, it, it's actually fine. Because, uh, look at this. I really don't know how well that's coming out in camera. Um, the back of these 1X slots is actually open by design, which is fucking fantastic because PCIe, if you, you, can, you can run a PCIe 16X card on a 1X slot and it will run. It'll run really slow, but it will run at 1X speed and it will still function. 
So you can, like, if you have, like, a like a 4X capture card or something, you can throw it in one of your 1X slots, and it'd be fine. Which is great, because my... If you look at the RAID card, it is a 4X slot. Or is that a 2X? That might be a 2X. Whatever. It's a size that's uh, bigger than the 1X. And uh, you can throw that in the, the 1X, and it just works fine. And it doesn't affect your read-write speeds. It's great. You know what the best part about using PC parts uh, that you've used more recently instead of some that have been sitting around in your closet for a while? I.O. shields! Oh! God, I.O. shields suck! They hurt! Let's just gently lay it down in there. Ah, uh, these cables. Oh, they're like just barely. Just barely, just barely. The only feature that I'm going to be missing is the uh, front panel USB 3, because obviously this case doesn't have USB 3. But otherwise I think this will be a uh, pretty well featured board. Click. There's my CPU power. Oh man, my hands are too fat. Oh, don't need to lose weight because, you know, I'm fat or... You know, I'm fat. No, I need to lose weight because my hands don't fucking fit between the power supply and the cooler anymore. Hashtag motivation to not suck at life. No, scratch that. Just PCs. Son of a bitch. Guys, I'm having trouble getting it in. Like, I just get it right up there, and then I just push, and then it just, it just pops right out. What am I doing wrong? I mean, like, to get it in, all you need to do is just kind of put it near the hole and just jam it in repeatedly until something sticks, right? Wow, I am, like, legitimately going to have to two-hand this. Oh, wow, I didn't even intend that one. Come on, son of a bitch! What the hell? I'm about to zip-tie this thing together, because this is irritating. Hey, here's a great idea for compatibility, boss. Let's, uh, let's take a four-pin connector, but then, like, make it just not work. So that way when people try to... Wait a minute. That is keyed backwards, what the fuck? Is that a GPU power plug? Is that what my problem is? Uh, have I just been the big dumb this whole time? All right, yeah, to answer everyone's questions, I am disabled. I was using a fucking GPU four pin instead of the CPU four pin. All right, James. It's time to it's time to quit, buddy. I'm gonna Megan's gonna put you in a home. Can somebody take my my PC builder card away from me? Did I get it in finally? Oh yeah, I finally got it in, and it clicked too. Fucking Christmas miracle! James finally gets it in for once in his goddamn life. Okay, so I had to do a minor bit of re rewiring. Um, unfortunately, the GPU is not going to fit in this top slot because I have the drive right here, and there's just no way that I can arrange the cables for this last hard drive to make this make this work. So it's going to go in the second slot, uh, which is okay because that I mean it's the airflow is not quite as great, but it's still it's okay. Um, I'll be able to mount it a little bit more secure, um, and uh, that will give me the full top slot that I can then use for the for the RAID card. So that'll work out great. Um, I already wired the reset buttons, the front USB, and the beeper. So now it's just a matter of installing the GPU, which is installed. And I just broke off that door. That's cute. Let me fix that. I mean, I already broke off the other one because having the locking mechanism like was really annoying for the cable routing that I had to do. Um, really didn't intend to break that one off, but I have no idea how to reattach it unless it snaps on this way. I, I don't fucking know, and I don't really care to be honest. Okay, well that GP is just gonna go in there. And uh, now we just do the raid card. Almost slots into the, uh, to the tray there. Unfortunately, the motherboard is like just slightly different. So like the card will still set in, but the rail for the
car doesn't quite latch into the holes, unfortunately. It's like a it's like a millimeter or two off. But that's okay. Cable management's kind of a bitch. And you know, I'm really not that good at it. And I really don't have the right gear to be good at it. Like I don't have cable ties. I don't have a modular power supply. So this is like, this is how you did it in like 2004, 2005. So you just kind of shove shit in and just hoped that it worked. I'm gonna plug this one into the bottom slot. So that way it's got a little bit more bracing against the drives. Keep the cable still. And all we need to do now is mount our boot drive and I believe we are good to post. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay, so according to the documentation on ASRock's website, uh, four beeps doesn't exist. But we very clearly heard four beeps. Looks like I will be diving into the manual. Oh? Oh? Maybe. I was thinking about it. Raid guards like working. No video though. <sighs> what? What the fuck? Dude, look, it's booting. Shit. Okay, so good news. Uh, here, boots now. Um, bad news is I had to take one of my RAM sticks out to do so. So I don't know if it's the slot or if it's the RAM stick. I am worried about it being the RAM stick because one of the traces is slightly scuffed. And I don't know if it's that, or if it is the tray on the motherboard. But yeah, it's uh, it's booting. <sighs> so yeah, that ram stick just fucking died. Awesome. Oh well, I'll replace that eventually. But we'll uh, let's get that card ripped out, and uh, let's continue with installing Windows.